I'm Tony Keith, the Christmas Light Guy, version 2.0, AI generated. In this tutorial, I will share with you a couple methods to build house outlines including roof or gutter outlines and window or door frame outlines using PCV pipe and how to model in X lights. Let's get started. Have you noticed, people don't say, did you see that holiday display on Main Street? They say, did you see that house over on Main Street with the awesome lights? Notice the word, house, people remember the house, so why not use the features of your house to emphasize your holiday display and make it unique? Let's first talk about what are house outlines. House outlines are lights or props to emphasize your house and make your holiday display unique. First I will define a few different types of outlines. There may be other types or have different names but here is what I will cover. First type is, house or gutter or roof outlines. There are horizontal outlines, used to outline gutters or roof edges. Next, angled outlines, used to outline roof soffits or the angled part known as the rake or gable end of a roof. Finally, vertical outlines, used to outline from a soffit edge or corner to the ground. The second type is frame outlines for windows or doors. There are square or rectangle frame outlines. Also there are square or rectangle frame outlines with one or more verticals or dividers. I recommend you build your outlines before trying to model them in X-Lights. This leads me to my next topic, which is construction of outlines using PVC pipe and pixels. First you should determine how you will attach the pixels to your outlines and the spacing between pixels. Here are a few different methods to attach the pixels to your outlines. One method is to attach pixels using cable ties. Another method is to attach using mounting strips such as mega tree strips or chroma trim. And finally, drill holes through the PVC pipe to mount pixels. Next determine the spacing between the pixels. I use 2 inch spacing for all my outlines but you may choose a different spacing. Once you have selected how you will attach your pixels to your outlines, I suggest you test each method before building a complete outline. This will save you some headaches. To build your outlines, start with either half an inch PVC pipe, schedule 20 or 40, or 3 quarters inch PVC pipe, schedule 20 or 40, for your outlines. You will also need other supplies such as connectors, couplings, corners, tees and four ways, PVC pipe cutter or saw, and PVC glue. I use half an inch PVC pipe, schedule 20, for my window frames and gutter outlines. My window frames sit on the inside of a brick window frame, so they don't have to be very sturdy, and my gutter outlines are held up with 3D printed gutter mounts. If you plan on hanging your window or door frames, then I suggest using half an inch PVC pipe, schedule 40 or 3 quarters inch PCV pipe, schedule 20 or 40. Next measure your outline and cut your PVC pipe using a PVC pipe cutter or saw. Remember to take into account any connectors, couplings, corners, tees and four ways. Always measure twice and cut once. Also make sure you do a dry run of your outline to make sure it fits before gluing together. Next if you are going to drill holes to mount your pixels I recommend using a drilling jig. You can make your own drilling jig or you can buy one already made. Here is my drilling jig, which I made out of a couple pieces of scrap wood, screws and a half an inch bolt. You want to make sure the pixel holes are the correct size, the correct spacing and aligned, meaning straight and centered on the PVC pipe. Here is a tip that I found helpful when drilling holes in a long piece of PVC pipe. Make sure you support both ends of the pipe and keep the PVC pipe level and straight. For standard bullet pixels I recommend a 12mm, or half an inch, Forstner bit. I have also seen step bits used but I prefer a Forstner bit especially for drilling the same size hole all the way through the PVC pipe. Next insert pixels or attach pixels to your outlines. Make sure to mark and clearly label each outline. Also, use cable ties to strain relief the input and output connectors on your outlines. There are many ways to mount your outlines and I'm not going to cover mounting in this video but I recommend checking out 3D printed mounts. Using 3D printed mounts can greatly simplify mounting your outlines. There are many 3D printed part vendors and options available for a wide range of mounting applications. Now I have covered how to construct outlines, I will move over to X-Lights and show you how to model them. I'm in X-Lights and I'm on the Layout tab. For house outlines either horizontal or vertical use the single line model or the poly line model. Let me demonstrate. 
First a single line model for a horizontal outline. Next a single line model for a vertical outline. Now I will use the polyline model for a horizontal outline. And the polyline model for a vertical outline. For angled outlines, use polyline model. Let me demonstrate. The polyline model does allow you to control the individual segments. To control the individual segments, enable the Individual Segments option in the Model menu. Expand the segments. Then edit the individual segments to match your outline. I will remove the example models I just created, since they are not needed and to give me more room for window and door outlines coming up next. For simple window or door outlines, use the window model but the polyline model can be used also. Let me demonstrate. First I will use the window model to model a window. Then I will use the window model to model a door. Next I will use the polyline model to model a window. And finally, I will use the polyline model to model a door. Not perfectly drawn but you get the idea. For windows with verticals or dividers use the window model and single line model for the verticals or dividers. Let me demonstrate. The polyline model can be used also to model windows with verticals or dividers but depends on how you wired your outlines. It may be easier to create a custom window model. I will remove the example models I just created, since they are not needed and to give me more room to show you how to create a custom window model. A built-in model will not allow you to modify the model data, however a custom model will. Start with a window model with the correct number of pixels on top and sides as your window outline. Select Window Model and click for Options menu. Select Export to Custom X Lights Model. Save the custom model. Delete the current window frame model. And import the custom model you just saved. In the model menu, you will now be able to modify the model data by clicking on model data, click to edit option. The edit model data window will open and allow you to add your nodes for verticals or dividers. I will close the edit model data window. I have already created a custom window model that I will use to show you how I added the nodes for the divider to it. I will open the edit model data window. I will scroll over so you can see the nodes I added for the divider. Don't forget to create submodels for your outlines. Let me show you the submodels on my custom window model. Close the edit model data window. In the model menu, click on submodels, click to edit option. This will open the submodels window. As you can see, I have defined submodels called horizontals and verticals. First, let me show the horizontal submodels. Next, let me show the vertical submodels. I recommend you create submodels for window and door outlines with a minimum of horizontal and vertical submodels. I will close the submodel window and move over to the sequencer tab to demo a simple sequence on these outlines. Now I am on the sequencer tab and I have already created a 30 second demo sequence with 5 second effects. The first three effects are using submodels and the next three effects are using a whole house group that I defined. Let me start the sequence. The first effect is using the marquee effect. The second effect is using the bars effect on the verticals. The third effect is using the bars effect on the horizontals. The fourth effect is using the fan effect on the whole house group. The fifth effect is using the bars effect on the whole house group. The sixth effect is using the fill effect on the whole house group. Let me summarize. PVC outlines are one of the easiest to build and least expensive props that can be used to emphasize your house and make your holiday display unique. There are house or gutter or roof outlines and frame outlines for windows or doors. Remember build your outlines first then model in x lights. Use either standard built-in models or custom models. Don't be afraid to create custom models, 
they're quite easy and a very powerful feature of XLights. Also, don't forget to create and use submodels. At a minimum create vertical and horizontal submodels for each of your outlines. One final thought, when mounting your outlines, be careful. Climbing up ladders or even using a lift can be dangerous. Please be safe and most of all have fun. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new from it. If you did and would like to see more tutorials like this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. The Christmas Light Guy Remember It doesn't cost anything to subscribe, all you have to do is press the subscribe button below. Thank you.